Hey folks, this is Eric again, coming from Kansas City. Um, so today's the day I'm going to put the, solar, the my new solar panels up on um, the roof. Uh, the extra 600 watts I've been talking about in some other videos. Uh, I've got three of them here. You can see three of them here. I already got to put three of them on the roof before I started recording this. Uh, got my supplies there. <clears throat> so what I did is I... Uh, Took them upstairs to my son's room, which I'm going back into now. And what I'm doing is I have a handy dandy window here um, that goes down to a nice little roof above our living space. And then I can climb up on the step ladder here. And uh, up onto our flat roof up on top where I have the solar panels. So, um, so I put them through that window. They uh, luckily they fit. Uh, I was pleased about that. And uh, I'm gonna get these other three up here, and uh, we'll uh, start hooking them up and fastening them down. Um, and uh, but first, I'll uh, show you what the other three up here look like first. So I'm gonna climb out here on the roof. And uh, be careful about holding this camera. So I put the uh, so all my solar panels are held held down by ballasts of uh, concrete blocks. They're not fastened to the roof. Uh, I've had these other other ones, the far ones over there there for um, uh, three years now uh, nothing's happened to them so uh, it's worked out well I, I keep thinking about uh, putting a safety line on of some kind but haven't done it yet uh, these right here have been here for about a year uh, so I'm gonna get these other ones up here hopefully you can see that well the Sun's kind of glaring on some things but uh, got one up the third one up here and the other two kind of placed in proximate position and I brought all the blocks up here last night and uh, yeah I'll bring the rest of them up here and then I'll uh, show you what it looks like uh, when we get that done okay folks I got all six of them up here uh, one two and then three four five six right there the other ones beyond these 100 watt panels are existing so uh, I had 600 more watts, uh, six, six more 100 watt solar panels because they're, I've decided they're much easier to handle than these bigger ones that are, you know, be in the 250 to 350 watt range. Uh, and uh, easier to handle by, by myself without having to help, uh, easier to fit, well, I can fit into that window that you saw. And, um, uh, and they're, uh, cheaper actually um, you know it requires a little more effort because it's more connections you know more blocks more screws more fastening a lot of stuff but you know I, I got these for I don't know uh, less than 75 bucks a piece from Home Depot and uh, um, they all uh, were putting out about 20 21 22 volts open, open circuit um, before I brought them up here so I made sure they work got here these are Renogy 270 watt panels these three closest to me uh, so they're they're you know normally 24 volt panels uh, 44 40 between 40 and 44 open circuit voltage uh, so the three these together that's the max you can do for 150 volt um, uh, DC in your charge watt panel I'm not sure what brand it is uh, but those are my old ones that I've had for some of them I had for over 10 years actually I'm, uh, all of them I had for over 10 years uh, they're still pretty, pretty good power uh, 270 watt two 130 watts here well let's see we'll get closer 
Here's the 270. It's never really, never really put out 270 for me, but I'm not sure if it does. It's supposed to in Kansas, but at any rate. Um, this one right here is a 130. That's a 130 right there. And then these two over here are 130s as well. So these are all tied in the series as well. And they equal approximately the same voltage as these newer energies. And they'll equal approximately the same voltage as these uh, um, Windy Nation, I guess, branded ones that uh, uh, I've got here. So um, these are each, what, 17, 18 volts open circuit. So add that together and you get about the same as what all these are. Um, I'm going to hook these these uh, these 600 watt panels uh, in parallel with these older ones because they put out they actually surprisingly put out a little bit higher voltage than these Renegies, these newer Renegies do. So utilize the voltage on them, paralleling with, paralleling the new the new ones over here with these older ones right here because I've noticed these have a little bit higher voltage closer to what these are supposed to have when they're operating. So I'm going to do that first and uh, see how it works. Uh, right now, what I've got set up is these Renegies are on one charge controller and the older ones are on another charge controller to kind of maximize the efficiency because I did have these Renegies on, uh, in parallel with these older ones um, for a while before I got that second charge controller. And uh, these Renegies were holding down the voltage a little bit of these older ones. Um, probably, uh, you know, decreasing my output by you know, like 5 or 10%, I think, is what I calculated. Um, but anyway, that's what I've got up here. Uh, you know, this is the first video I've shot with, uh, you know, up on the roof like this. Uh, I'll show you what I've got for solar up here. So anyway, as I run down there, um, I'm going to get these all in position and I do have more blocks to put down that has more ballast later on so I'll get that done here and uh, after I get these all placed uh, wires that I need to install and obviously the solar wiring to just hook up plug and play so um, I'll try and show some more progress videos here but that's what I got for now hey everyone so uh, had some lunch and uh, got these all hooked up. Didn't realize this, didn't test it out until I uh, got up here. But you can see this. Yeah, uh, whether you can see that or not. Let's see. Yeah, the holes don't clip, line up and I can't push them together any farther. So um, you have to drill some, drill it out with some drill bits. So I got to. Uh, do that and finish lining these up some more so um, yeah I gotta get that done here and then I'll uh, let you know how that went all right so I got this hole drilled out didn't take it very long so uh, put this screw in here and I'll be done with that and uh, Got some Tapcon uh, fasteners here, inch and a quarter. I got some uh, eight by sixteen concrete blocks here, holding them up, and I'm gonna put some other blocks underneath here to keep wind from coming up underneath here, and to give them some more ballast. I'm gonna attach them to these blocks right here. So I'm gonna do some things like that to give them extra ballast because um, these blocks aren't as big as those other ones, but these panels aren't as big either. So. Um, but um, I'm also using these brackets as my ground connections between two panels uh, so that uh, I won't have to run ground wires in between each panel like I have um, over on these ones I've had up here already using my ground wires so <clears throat> that's what I'm doing there these are just some Z brackets I got on eBay. I've seen these around for a long time. Just never bought any myself until, until now. I just kind of made my own for those. Uh, if you can see that. But um, anyway, I'm gonna finish attaching all of these together, lining them up, and then uh, I'll uh, connect my long 25 foot long uh, 
MC4 wires to the boxes over there. So stay tuned. Also wanted to mention that um, I did uh, pre-drill, pre-hammer drill these blocks with, with these holes uh, before I came up here because my hammer drill is a quarter drill and these blocks for these panels all back here uh, I did those, I drilled those up here really kind of a pain to get the quarter drill up here and run a cord down there, there's a plug in outside which is nice but still it's a pain to do that so uh, that saved me a lot of time now today not having to do that just using my uh, cordless ones to finish the job so um, yeah it's uh, good to think ahead Folks, so I forgot I was gonna put a ground wire on this guy and that guy right there over to that panel. So uh, put that one back in here and have some washers made for this one. So this ground wire is just an eight gauge THHN wire from Home Depot. I got some shrink wrap with internal glue uh, from eBay, and these lugs are from a local battery supply store. These are uh, engaged lugs in their uh, I think five sixteenths uh, hole. So uh, put that guy on there. I uh, pre-made this a day or two ago. So we'll put that on there, and then uh, this one will go to go to that panel. Then that panel will be kind of just the brackets on that one right there. So that that panel will be into that brackets on that one. And this guy's going to connect to this panel right here, so that's how that'll work. There we go. All right, I got them all lined up like I want them. Most of them are fastened in. I'm going to put six more fasteners in these two guys, and we'll be done here. There we go. I think I'm uh, shelling out this uh, <laughs> this fitting here. Probably should be using something different, but. failing me yep okay I'm done okay one more turn okay now I got the right tool Alright, they're all fastened in. I'm gonna grab my uh, wire here and we'll uh, connect the negative up to the negative over there and got the positive up here. So, the way I have them wired in is so I started with this one right here and it's wired in series to here, this one, 
this one, this one, and then this one. And then uh, I'll take those two ends and we'll go over there. All right, folks, I got the positive wire run right here. Goes under all these panels right here. Hooks up into my combiner box right there. Negative wire runs. You see that right there? That box, that box, that those uh, cutters underneath these panels. I put it into that the automotive wiring conduit, and then under these panels, and then it comes in next to that red wire right there in the combiner box. So. That's it. It's not pretty. I don't, uh, you know, put the wires in, you know, conduit or anything like that. I mean, it's uh, handles the sun. It can handle. I, I, I do to put it in um, automotive conduit, like you see that blue stuff right there. I don't care about the color, but I, I get what I can find. But uh, at least protect a little bit from the sun. But you know, it, it'll it'll withstand water and everything else. So I don't worry about that laying on the roof like that so anyway uh, it's all connected I'm gonna get some more um, more of this uh, stuff on it and uh, that'll be it I'm gonna I got another ground I gotta get the ground wire on here at some point got that ready to go pretty much but just gotta make a couple ends and uh, that'll be it and we'll see how it performs so stay tuned Okay, folks, so I got them all hooked up, and wow, we're making uh, 1100 watts here in the uh, end of February. And, uh, whoops, sorry. There we go. Fantastic. We were making almost 800 here before I just uh, plugged those panels in. So let's see, 800 plus, that's 300 watts from right now, about halfway more. Well, 325. That's probably more like 350 from 350 watts. Look at that. Uh, focus is terrible. There we go. Fantastic. And, uh, yeah, not pulling very much, so we're charging the batteries quite a bit. So we got 41 amps coming in the solar and uh, 36, 37 amps going in the batteries. All right. That's it, folks. Their uh, panels are up, and they're uh, making some juice. And, uh, yeah, hope you all liked it, and uh, stay tuned for uh, more stuff on this system. Grace and peace be with you. Bye for now.